everybody at Dana at Dana YouTube channel. That's the Vox DA5 5 watt AC DC powered modeling amp that my friend Bobby affectionately used to call the toaster. This is a little digital modeling amp by Vox that runs on uh, six C size batteries and it has a selection of 5 watts, 1.5 watts, and 0.5 watts. Hear quite a difference. use it in the 5 watt mode. Uh, I've got the gain up to 3 quarters, the master up at 12 o'clock, and the tone at 12 o'clock with a compressor on, and the clean, one of the clean settings, clean 2. I do most of my backing tracks and recording with just because it has a line out that can line directly into the mixing board, into the computer, into the DAW. And I just select the model that I want, which I am going to now focus the camera on that and show you what it's all about. Okay, first of all, this model is not available anymore from Vox. It's about $169, the model that they have now that is comparable. And it has less modeling on it and comes with the, the beat trainer, or what they like to call it, or rhythm trainer, whatever. But this amp has... A lot of features. All right, here are the, it, they call the style. These are the different models. Here's clean. Let me put the gain and everything at 12 o'clock here. Okay, to defeat the effects, I've got the compressor on. So to bypass the effects, you push that button. Clean one, clean two, a little louder, blues one, and you see that starts to break up, and if you run the gain up, Blues 2 gets a little dirtier. Now that's the setting that I use a lot for... Just that kind of playing, that kind of style of playing. Blues 3 I use a lot for lead. Crunch one. You have a crunch two. Now, in my opinion, this is where it starts to get line six spider three ish because these these sounds uh they're, they're just not useful to me that much that's not too bad when you get to the high gain 
And run the gain up. Maybe on something like... High gain two. You notice the difference. It has a lot more mid than one. High gain three. Kind of that, that, that modern sound. And then finally drive. And that one's not too bad, it's controllable. You add the compressor. So let's go back to clean two. Set the gain halfway. Right now we're on compressor, we're going to go with the auto wah. That's, that's about all that one does. almost like a tone controller a filter go to the compressor this is what I use a lot You got compressor and phaser. Now, by holding these buttons down, controls the different effects. Compressor and chorus. That turns the compressor down, turn the compressor up, adjust the chorus, and it does have the tap. We got chorus and delay. Chorus and reverb. Flanger and reverb. Tremolo and reverb. Yeah.
actually comes in handy. Then we got the rotary reverb. <laughs> Finally, just delay. And then just finally reverb. So that's, that's a lot of different models and effects to pack into a, a little amp like this. And I'm going to go from the line out on the back into the Blues Junior. See if that's warmed up yet. Yep. <laughs> like a modeling preamp into, you know, a larger amp.
That doesn't do anything unless you're holding the button down. Alright, so that's the Vox DA5 modeling amp. Like I said, they don't make this model available that I know of, or I can't find it on Musician's Friend. They do have a similar amp. I would never really use any modeling amp in a live situation. Like you all know, I had the Spider 3 that I used to use just on the clean channel and I, you know, I got suckered into buying it at, at Guitar Center when they came out and it sat for a few years and then I started using it because it was light and I used my effects pedals through the front of the amp. But for a recording or practice situation, this is a nice little amp. Like I said, I've gone through two of them. The first one, the it just... It quit working completely. Something went wrong on the inside. I actually think the amp got dropped, knocked off of a table, and after that, it, it stopped working. So when we were looking for the DC-powered amps, uh, I almost bought the Roland Cube, and like I said, if I had to do it over, I might buy the Roland Cube, but we bought the the... RX for the bass and we bought this for the guitar so that we could play on park benches. <laughs> Okay, so that's the Box DA5, a nice little practice and modeling amp, and I use it a lot for recording, so let me know in the comments what you think, if you like it, what you use, what you think of modeling amps. So, all right, that's it. So it's time for pizza. All right, out with the old and with the new until next time. Hang in there.